Okay, so talking about fame, you're kind of a legend in fingerboarding now uh, because you've uh, been that so long in fingerboarding. Um, do you like the hype uh, around your purse? Um, there's, um, it's like virtual reality because in, in real life, I have to say, I, 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 you know, I live near a school. And sometimes when I'm at home, the kids go by and I, I hear them say, Yo, you know where, that, where lives there? Who lives there? Martin Winkler, who's that? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, some kids, I know, I just get it when, when a skate shop is there. They say, whoa, they are the kids. And I told them I was skating with you and they were, went crazy. And I, I, but I don't get too much of the action because maybe two or three times I walked and just one said, hey, you, um, are you Martin Winkler? Or uh, after Stefan Raab, one guy in a, in a, in a the underground in Munich recognized me because of my glasses and said, hey, you were was a Stefan Rapp, but it's <laughs> really not like, it's really not so, I, I don't get it too much. Uh, and even here in, in, in Italy, it's uh, different or in Spain. Mm -hmm. Still there, you really go there and they're really crazy, but, but here it's like, hey, I beat you in skate, you suck. <laughs> you know, the, the stuff on YouTube and it's the comments and the kids, uh, yeah, it's like, maybe they say yeah, it's our turn now. And, and I, and I don't, I would just write for fun. I, okay. I can, yeah, I, I can, it lies to me. I can achieve new, how you say, Mr. Beckman? <laughs> Wie sagt man leisten? Man kann es sich leisten. I can afford it to write just for fun. And just, <laughs> you know, I, I did enough, I think. And I, I had my time back in the days, 20 years ago, they, they all weren't born. And so um, you have to say that I was like, twice the lifetime I was better than them because they weren't, weren't born back then so they have to catch up and in 20 years we play another skate. <laughs> <laughs>
think it's like uh, a little kid coming to Tiger Woods saying, wow, I'm playing golf for two days now. Can I comp compete in the World Championship? Something like that. Yeah, like that. Or they even, you know, fingerboarding is the thing. We will see it maybe tomorrow. It's the thing that uh, in fingerboarding you can cheat. In golf, you don't. You miss the ball, you miss it. But in, in fingerboarding, it's you, you see it. I watched it today playing this game. I said, I don't want to be judged anymore tomorrow or something. But you know, this hang time impossibles and stuff like that. You, I don't know. It's uh, hard to to judge. And the best thing is if you are fair. But when the price is so high, you, people may may risk it. We see if if it will be fair tomorrow. I don't know. But it's not my. It's not that. Uh, not the message I wanna. I wanna give to the people like hey, skate for box and like the, the barracks and everything is cool. But it changed the the, the view of fingerboarding. Like like uh, the kids see barracks, say that's a skateboarding. It's, they have the best skate park in the world, and they just keep playing skate on f five square meters yeah. back and forth. <laughs> it's like yeah, can you do this trick first try? Oh, you suck. It's, and the same thing is happening in Fingerboard. There's too many good good kids now. I, I started in the days when kick the back tail was the the yeah. most the best trick you can do ever or something. And now it's just everything basic, everything switch. I, I like the the um, you know the evolution of it, but uh, I don't like what comes with it. That kids come, say, hey, man, I skate one year and I'm better than you and stuff like that. You, you know, you don't play skate with Steve Caballero on flat. You don't do it. You know, yeah. and I don't know so. But it was always the same, like like back in the days, uh, that kids keep saying, "Oh, I made this kickflip, this Gons gap. I'm better than Gons." But Gons did it 20 years before, you know. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> so to come back to the future, uh, back what? To the future. Back to the future, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like Marty McFly. Uh, what do you think uh, will be the future of fingerboarding? As long as we keep uh, this uh, lotto lotto tickets away from Biff, so he can win every lottery and gets the rich man and uh, fucks up the world, um, I don't know. Um, it will. I think it's it's fingerboarding is a little bit like a mirror of the skate scene. You know, you see the evolution in skating, and you see the, the kids in fingerboarding. You see the styles. It gets better. Videos blow my mind when I see some videos. I say, "Whoa!" Or if they just do the tricks, but with no cut and everything. So it gets, uh, yeah. It's really. I remember the first contest when you really, when I stood there, said, "Yeah, okay, you can laugh about it because kids keep skating with three fingers or missing tricks." And now, if you go to a contest, we really have to appreciate what what went down the years and what what the kids are doing now. It's really good, and maybe more and more. Uh, I don't know. The public will notice it. Maybe some companies will will push it, uh, or Black River will will work on it that um, it gets more known and more tours, stuff like that, to to transport the message of of the or transport the fun of it. You know, mm -hmm. we said tricks is for kids. <laughs> it's like it's really the the friendship and uh, the fun that counts, not too much the the stuff you have in normal life like stress and something. It's a, like a hobby and so for professional fingerboarding. I don't know. I, I like it better than destroy me doing some crazy stuff downstairs or something. Yeah. Like, I, I read something from Bam Majero who said, yeah, I could do kickflip this four blocks, but the, the, the kids would laugh at me because they make no switch everything and yeah. it's, not, yeah. it's the same thing. Okay. So I ask every que question on my paper. We're done. Do you got any last words? Uh, skate for fun. <laughs> Okay, nice last words, so we're done with our interview.